All right, and here is the video review for Titans Return RC with Linad and Ultra Magnus, which we'll get to uh, those descriptions here in a minute. But it was a Hascon exclusive this year that went up on Hasbro Toy Shop. I missed it the first time it was up, and uh, actually I just kind of was like, ah, do I want it? I can pass. And then by the time I decided, ah, maybe I do want it, it sold out. Uh, it will be available at Toys R Us later this year. We don't know if it will include the exclusive little Target Master or not or Titan Master, um, Ultra Magnus, which again, show off in a minute. But I did go back up last week, and after enjoying uh, Grotusque so much, I went ahead and picked it up. I saw a lot of pictures. I think the paint job's really good. It is a remold of the Blur slash Brainstorm mold, and it works pretty well. I do think from the top it's a little bit skinny as her car mode. It should be maybe a little wider, but uh, for the most part, I like the colors, and I think it's a pretty decent representation of her vehicle mode. Uh, it's got the remolded front end here. It's got two little guns on the bottom. And inside the seat is Linad, a.k.a. Daniel, in his little exosuit. It's a solid silver-painted head. Um, I believe there's one from over in Japan that comes with a clear head, and I may swap those out uh, if I end up picking that up. But all white in the exosuit. It's supposed to be Daniel's exosuit with RC's head on the back, as well as the little exclusive Ultra Magnus, who's just kind of a neat little painted dude, die-cast like uh, Scorponok. And he folds inside to be to make a pretty decent uh, Ultra Magnus head. A little small, but there. And uh, he looks good with Ultra with Scorponok, who were they were rivals in the comic. Uh, just two cool antenna dudes on the opposite sides of the Tyrest Accord. But yeah, so these little guys will probably go on my desk at work. And, uh, and like I said, Linad, aka Daniel, just folds in half to form RC's head. I never would have expected we'd ever get. When I was a kid, that we'd ever get an RC figure, much less a uh, t Headmaster RC figure, but here we are. He's got these little pistols. You don't have to have them underneath here if you don't want them, but uh, you can leave them off. You can also, if you'd rather have them facing, not quite as obviously sticking out the front, you can have them facing backwards. Up to you, but we'll go ahead and take those off. And she transforms pretty much exactly the same way Brainstorm and Blur and all them did. You just pop up her arms here. And peg them out and bring them out to the side. Uh, now this shield can come off and peg on to her arm just like they could previously, but I like to just leave it on her back. Just fold that down. Come on. At the hinge so the wheel goes in there. And open up the legs. Actually lift that up before I would do this. Open up the legs. Flip them down. Fold in the little jet thruster thingy. Close the legs back up. Uh, flip down the feet. I'll fold up the seat. I don't know. Get this up. Pull the seat up into there and then fold the hood down. You can fold that down onto the back. Bring your arms up. Bring your arms around and then fold these panels back onto her forearms and then attach her head and there she is and like I said nice paint job there's speculation that maybe the retail release I, I, I hope it's painted the same but maybe it would be since this is the exclusive version maybe it has more paint apps who know it is Hasbro so they could go either way I would like to think that they release it uh, to mass retail with the same paint applications, but who knows. But yeah, there she is. It's a very nice looking RC figure in this mode as well. Uh, like I said, you can, if you want, take this shield and put it on her arm. She actually comes packed with it on her arm, but just for the sake of symmetry, I like to just leave it hanging on back here. And you can't just take it off entirely if you don't like that backpack. But yeah, she's got the Titan Master neck. Pretty poseable. Uh, swivel hinge here. Swivel at the shoulder. Bicep swivel. Arm hinge. Wrist swivel, which is nice. Waist swivel. Ball joint hips. Thigh swivel. And a slightly over 90 degree hinge knee. And a little bit of articulation in the foot there, but that's mostly just the hinge to transform it. And yeah, there she is. Just for quick cast mate comparison, here she is with Hot Rod and Cup. 
and she looks good with him. Like I said, this is a really solid RC figure, and I uh, I think it's sold out again on Hasbro Toy Shop. Check there. If you see it go up, it's worth picking up. Uh, I do like the little die-cast Ultra Magnus that you get. Again, there's we don't know what they said it's going to be available later at Toys R Us, um, or at least available later at retail, and I believe it's rumored to be Toys R Us. But... Um, Definitely worth picking up. It's a very nice representation of the character. It's a fun mold, um, and I'm really happy with it. So I'm, gl I'm glad I grabbed that and uh, Grotesque from Hasbro Toy Shop. Just real quick, there's her uh, bio art with the specs attached to Lynette, as well as the bio for there's the Ultra Magnus in his Titan Master form, and then just as himself. So yeah, RC with Lynad and Ultra Magnus definitely gets a thumbs up. I'm really happy with this one.